So the Belmont. So when you think back to that final stretch, what goes through your mind now when you think about it? It was such relief. Really? It was such um, relief of all of the people that don't have the courage to tell you to your face what they really think or really feel about you. Or, And again, these are all their issues and their thoughts. And so I'm very careful. Um, and as I've gotten older, really clearly understanding that um, the no's that people give you are often don't have anything to do with you. It's where they are. And so um, people, a lot of people ask, oh, it must be so much more pressure now. It's so much more this, and so much more that. And I'm like, no, actually it was, um, you know, there's that last 50 yards or so where no one's coming by him where you're like, holy crap, this is like happening. And that 50 yards literally felt like the longest stretch of time in my life. Cause you're like, just wire come on. There's certain races where the wire can't come fast enough and certain races where you're like, wait, don't come yet. My horse is coming. So in that moment, it was a, um, it couldn't come fast enough at that point. Cause you're there. And it was like, finally, okay, we did this like this happened. And just the first thought was just being so happy for the team and just so like, you guys did this. Like, you know, John believed in this horse from day one and he believed in the girl and he believed in, in our team. And so that was like the whole oh, in that moment. And, you know, we've, we've jokingly talked about now and how like when I looked over to one side, Fiona, my assistant, who's very Irish and very strong and, um, I look over at her and she's, I'm expecting to see her like, you know, ah, and she's bawling. And I'm like, oh, oh crap, oh. you're not supposed to be crying right now. <laughs> and then like, I look to my other side and my fiance is standing there and I'm expecting him to be like, yeah. And I look over at him and he's bawling. And I'm like, oh crap. The two people that I expected to be like, the oh. rocks. they're like waterworks. And I'm like, I gotta get together. I gotta get together. Oh crap. And so it was literally in that moment that, you know, you just kind of pulled in and, and I think in that moment, taking some of what, you know, you've learned about me here in the hardest of times mm -hmm. is you just, you know, you just transform her a little bit and just pivot. Got this. Okay. Game on. Because we've won this race now. But now I know because there was already a camera up my nostrils the whole time. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. now I know there's going to be a microphone coming not far behind it. I've watched enough of these things to know how this is going to pivot pretty quickly here. And um, and it was just shifting modes in that point. And um, you enjoy that for the second. But you've got more business to handle at that point. You know, I'm watching my horse gallop out, making sure he's okay and everyone's well and good and how he's coming back. And they usually do the interview with the jockey. So, and they do that also to give time so all the horses can get, you know, unsaddled and go back. So all these things are playing in the background of my head, understanding what's going on, but also having to say super, super present in that moment to handle our business. And so um, the, the immediateness of it though was just, it was such a huge relief of um, this, the little girl can do it. Mm. What did Fiona say to the horse before? Because I heard you say that you watched her talking to that horse before the race. I think all of us that had, way. you know, our own little moments. Um, I just appreciate um, the relationship that the horse gives us. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, like, when you ask the question, like I get the flashback of being able to go hang out in the stall with him when he's sleeping or laying down and, you know, us having our personal moment and when mm -hmm. Fiona was able to have her personal moments. And so everyone's had their time with the horse to be able to lean in and, you know, tell him, <laughs> The fly's gone, or the fly, the bee. Um, just to be able to have that personal moments with him of, you know, letting him know that you believe in him, 